So what is the number one biggest investing mistake out there right now? In order to understand the answer to that question, we have to go back to the year 1951, when a woman by the name Thelma Howard was hired by Mr. Walt Disney to be his personal cook and housekeeper. And while she was working as his housekeeper, she gained the family's trust and friendship. And in return, every Christmas and every birthday, Mr. Walt Disney would give Thelma shares and stock certificates of his company. And those certificates looked very similar to something like this that I have right here in my hands. You're looking at a real common stock of Walt Disney Studios back when stocks were actually made of paper, and owning this one certificate was the only way to prove you were a real investor in the company. The 1980s was the end of an era in paper trading. Now, Thelma never sold her shares. She just held on to them for dear life when eventually those stocks became worth over $9 million. That money was eventually evenly distributed between her son and her foundation, which now supports artistic programs in the LA County. But the moral of that story is that long-term buying and holding investing strategies will almost always outperform short-term day trading strategies. Believe it or not, I got that stock directly from Thelma Howard herself. No, I didn't. That's a total lie. It's just the music started to crescendo and it really hit the mood spot and I wanted to seem more important than I actually am, but that was a real stock and it was actually very expensive and I just wanted to make sure that I could use it in a video. That way I could use it as a tax write-off in case the IRS ever asked. Now, personally, I'm a dividend investor and I wish everyone knew what that was because I think it's the coolest way to invest. So here's my Robinhood portfolio that you see on the side and it's still paying me money every single month. The majority of my dividends are still intact and regardless of what my stock portfolio is worth, it's still paying me dividends, which is pretty cool. It's basically when companies make so much money, they just pay their shareholders simply for being an investor. But don't take my word for it. Let me show you what I mean. Imagine investing money into a stock like Disney. So here we have some money and we're gonna take it and watch, this is gonna pay us some dividends. Just like that. We have here, it gives us some dividends, but the problem now is that our money is worth less by exactly the amount that it paid us out, right? There's a problem, but that's not always the case, you see, because watch, sometimes a stock doesn't always go down by the same amount of value. In fact, it simply recovers, and now it's back to the same price. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Andre Jick. Hope you had a great week, and I just read something really disturbing about what people are doing in the stock market. And I didn't really expect to see this about what people are doing with their money. So I decided to make this YouTube video to share with you what I think is the number one biggest investing mistake right now. So let me explain. Back in 2019, when I started my YouTube channel, I was really depressed because I wasn't making any money. And that's not at all an important part of the story. So. I'm really sorry, <laughs> but during that time, we were experiencing the longest bull market in history from the years 2009 to 2020, but there was a problem. People didn't care to invest their money because maybe they thought the stock market was overvalued or they just were not interested in personal finance. But now that the economy is in trouble and the sky has fallen, all of a sudden, people have started to take an interest in personal finance and investing. And of course, that's always a good thing, but also bad. And here's why. People are speculating and gambling what little money they have by trying to learn the dark forbidden arts of horcruxes. Now that's a Harry Potter reference. The dark forbidden arts of day trading. People are going as far as to even invest and gamble with their stimulus check money. It's absolutely crazy. Let's take a look at some numbers. People earning $35,000 to $75,000 per year traded stocks 90% more than right before they received their stimulus check and people that made between $100,000 to $150,000 per year saw an increase of 82% in trading. And brokerages like Robinhood, for example, which I love and which I use. Ah, uh, what? You use them? Idiot. Brokerages like Robinhood experienced a 300% increase in trading activity in March alone. All this means is that people are excited to learn about investing, but they're also afraid of experiencing the fear of missing out on the V-shaped recovery that some economists are predicting. Also, this is not a V-shaped recovery, which looks like this. This is an EV-shaped recovery, which kind of looks like this, and it's all over the place because it's like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna get. And it seems like we are experiencing the V-shaped 
V-shaped recovery, but most of the people speculating in the market right now, 90% or more of them will actually end up losing money in the short term if the stock market doesn't go the way that they expect for it to go, or even worse, they continue day trading thinking that they're actually making money when in reality, they're losing money. And this is because of a concept called random reinforcement theory, and it's super interesting. Here's what it means. Whenever we see small amounts of success, we usually give ourselves credit for our own skill and knowledge rather than realizing what actually happened, which was just circumstance and pure luck. And this small amount of success is enough for us to continue being engaged in an unhealthy activity, in this case, day trading, which is usually enough to mentally reinforce the fact that yes, we know what we're doing when in reality we actually don't. This also explains the success of my YouTube channel <laughs> and I will see myself out the door. But of course, in reality, you're just losing money long term. You are just gambling. But if you're saying to yourself, whatever, you're just a bad day trader and you're just saying that because you lost a lot of money. And that assumption is 100% accurate. Yes, that is true. I am a terrible day trader, so don't listen to me about that. Now, I'm not saying that you should not trade stocks or you should not learn how to day trade. I'm sure there are a ton of profitable chads out there that would love to show me how it's done. And if you're one of them, please reach out to me and find me on Instagram and I will feature you in my video so we can all learn alongside each other. And just like Skyrim, I will join the Dark Brotherhood. But if we're honest, most people, myself included, should just buy and hold blue chip stocks and be just like Thelma Howard, because I've tried day trading and it is very difficult and takes a long time to get good at. And that time right now is far more valuable to you if you just spent it learning a more marketable skill, which is why this video is sponsored by absolutely no one. But wow, that would have been a great segue. I just realized, yeah, I'm still not sponsored by anyone. On May 11th, I published a video that said the market was going to explode, which was my theory that the stock market was going to recover insanely fast because of the Fed's loose policies and our optimism for a quick recovery. Now, after the video was published, you can see the S&P 500 graph and the stock market blasted off. So I understand why people want to jump back into the stock market to invest, speculate, and make a little bit more of their stimulus checks. All that is fine and smart because people don't want to be left behind and experience more FOMO or fear of missing out. But since I'm not allowed to give you any legal investing advice because I'm still not a licensed professional, I will say that whatever investing strategy you choose, try to stick with it and don't sell everything you have simply because the stock market doesn't end up going the way that you expect it to go. But if you're still stubborn and you really want to know how to double your money, then this is the best strategy that I've come up with to actually double your money for real. This isn't clickbait. So what you do is you take a bill, fold it in half, and then what you do is you do this secret fold and it makes it seem like now I have twice as much money as I actually do. And you can see I'm actually like holding two separate bills in my hands, right? Well, I'm actually not. It's still the same bill, but the secret is that there's a slit right in the middle of the bill and you can see that right there. And because of how I fold it and it folds over itself just like this, it creates this beautiful illusion that it seems like I have two separate bills. And that's really the best way. So the next time you find yourself at a valet and you only have a dollar or maybe at a restaurant and you wanna tip a little bit more, or if you come to Vegas, then use it, but use your powers for good, not evil. Now, as far as what's actually gonna to happen to our money in the stock market, in the short term, we're gonna see a huge recovery because there's gonna be a really big disconnect between what the stock market is doing and what the jobs market and the economy is doing. But in the long term, make no mistake about it, the emperor is still but naked. And by that, I mean, we're gonna see a lot of industries completely displaced. Meanwhile, the tech sector will boom, other industries like the restaurant industry will hurt badly, and many of them will never be coming back. And this will be made even worse by what's about to happen to commercial real estate in about two years from now. This is because America's number one hobby, shopping malls, have already been struggling in the last few years, no thanks to Amazon. But also because in about two years from now, there's a set of mall loans that are gonna mature, which is a fancy way of saying they'll come due. And since malls have already been facing pressure because of the competition, and now with everything else that's going on, it's a double whammy, and many of them will not be able to pay back their debt. And if mall owners can't pay back their debt on time, and we see a wave of mall closures, then we will also see some banks and some pension funds that are invested in what are called commercial mortgage-backed securities seriously suffer, which means at that point, one of two things will happen. Either the Federal Reserve steps in and buys their debt, or it just lets them go broke. 
But either way, savers lose money to inflation or more jobs will be lost. And if you want to retire early, then you might have to wait a lot longer, especially if you've invested money in those sectors. Not to mention, a significant portion of jobs will be lost permanently due to automation and realization. As companies wake up and start to understand, we don't have to physically go to work. We can perfectly take Zoom calls from home and everything is going to be fine. And when this happens, one of two things will actually occur. Either they'll start to hire remotely across the nation or even overseas, or more likely what's going to end up happening is that companies start to cut back on only essential work, which means more part-time for us, less full-time, which means less money for us and more money for the corporations. In the meantime, though, I wanted to answer a really prevalent question that I get asked a lot in one form or another. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do that. And I will try to answer some questions. And if you like this format, please let me know in the comments below and I will do this more often. But here's what it reads. I lost my job with the whole world chaos and I'm looking to invest $2,000, but I'm scared. How can I make some money with that? And the answer to you is that you probably should not be investing any amount of money right now, especially if that $2,000 is scary to you. Whatever you do, you should only invest exactly what you're willing to lose. And if you feel uneasy about losing this amount of money, it's probably because it means so much to you and it's simply not worth risking it at all. So if you've lost your job and you're wondering what to do with that $2,000 and you want to invest it, then just understand that doing what I'm doing here with Robinhood, with Blue Chip Dividend, in stocks at best is going to make you maybe a couple extra hundred dollars in the short term. But that is best case scenario and you need a lot more money and a lot more time to make any significant amounts of money. Instead, you should take that $2,000 and invest it in yourself. And again, find something that's lucrative, something that's valuable in the marketplace right now and something that doesn't depend on you physically going somewhere, which is working from home and just needing an internet connection and that's it. And that could be computer programming or just learning how to do AI and learning that language, which I know sounds complicated, but it's actually not as difficult as people perceive it to be. Now, I know that may not be what you want to hear right now. And maybe you think I've got the magic answer and I can just say, yeah, invest $100 into stock XYZ and in two weeks, your money will double. But it just doesn't work that way. Unfortunately, many people, programs, services and courses will promise you exactly that but no one has the answer. The only sure thing about day trading is that it is the fastest way to lose money. But speaking of investing, if you're ready to get started, then you can create your account with Webull. You'll get one free stock valued up to $250, but if you fund your account $100, you'll get another free stock valued up to $1,400. You can also get a third free stock from Robinhood signing up for free. That's three free stocks ready to get you started. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Love you all and I'll see you all on Monday and Friday. Bye-bye.